Well, it happened. I told you it was gonna happen. It happened. So what the heck happened with Global Star? So for the past two weeks, I have been making some videos on Global Star, and in those videos, I told people, "Hey, be careful! Do not get too deep in Global Star right now because it looks like there are some margin calls or some puts that are happening here, and we're seeing a squeeze coming right here. And right now, you know, today the squeeze took place, and this is why we saw a 45% fall in the stock today. But the good news is, is that." Hey, it's a dollar twenty, and we can buy right back in, and it's probably going to go up again here soon. So I want to do something I haven't done in a while with Global Start, and that is go into a yearly chart. So let's look at a yearly chart here. So the first big push we had on Global Start was January twentieth of this year. This is when Global Start hit a dollar thirty. This was huge. This was huge. Then Global Start hit around a two dollar and a half bid price range. And then we started to see sell off with Global Star, and a lot too is that you know, in that time frame there was people just taking out massive amount of shares because we started to have the stock market decline around the end of February, and investors were scared all over the board. So we saw a huge decline, but Global Star did not die, and it only went under a dollar for a short little while, and then jumped back up here into the dollar zone, and that's where we're at right now. So you know, honestly. I, I've said this a million times, but anything that's like with Global Star being above a dollar fifteen to dollar twenty, you know that is like that's great for me. That's a great buy-in price for what they have financially, what they have in cash, what they're looking to for the past, for the next five years. The main thing we're looking for right now with Global Star is the future. Can they keep up with technology? Can they keep producing contracts, partnerships, uh, new products? Can they get a partnership with a huge company? Could they get a partnership with like Apple, Tesla? You know, they, I know these are big names, but you know, could something like this happen? But I think it's pretty safe to say this has been the biggest year for Global Star in the past 10 years with the contracts, the partnerships, everything it's been doing. You know, this Global Star has just been on fire this year. So with all this Wall Street bets, AMC stuff going on, I am curious to see what Global Star is going to be doing. I personally do believe that a lot of people are just selling out of contracts, uh, stocks that they have and they're taking profit and they're putting it in AMC and that's a very smart thing to do honestly you know that that is a very intelligent move so today that could so today that very well could have happened with global star that is a very reasonable possibility what could happen here too as long with the shorts meeting up with the squeeze with global star because i really think that's what happened because i had some calls on global star and um, i could see things coming up for it to hit this two dollar range which I think it's still going to hit a $2 range here by June, July. That's why I think it's still going to go back up. I think we're just seeing a, a sell off and then we're going to have another, another slow climb here. I'm, I'm pretty confident about that. But I have been talking about Global Star since I've had my channel. And if you have made money off Global Star, that's awesome. Congratulations. That's That makes me feel really good. But um, I, I would not get worried about this $1.20 sell off. You have a mass amount of people right now focusing kind of like on one thing right now, and that's this AMC squeeze. You know, a lot of people are not going to miss this. And right now, AMC is just, it's blowing up. It's going crazy. But honestly, personally, I'm just using this as, you know, this is probably a great time to get into Global Star because, you know, I it could hit a dollar fifty again here within the next month. And I think it's going to because there's some big contracts out there for Global Star to hit the two dollar range and I think we're probably gonna see a push in Global Star so it can hit that. Because I personally know I have some contracts that are due in July for Global Star to hit a two dollar range and I know there's a lot of you because a lot of people have told me whether you bought them in December or January the beginning of the year, you know, um, there are contracts coming up for Global Star to be a two dollar range. So I'm, that's why I'm quite confident we're probably going to see a two dollar range even if it's just for a 48 hour period with Global Star. But so friends, this is just like a follow up video for the videos I've made on Global Star. I, like I said, I was warning people of this happening. There's going to be these pushes, these big sales, these pushes, these big sales. But I, you know, I think we're going to see it kind of just, you know, build a shelf here. I think we're seeing a shelf being built here. And this massive sell off is fine, 
but you know it's gonna be part of building even stronger and bigger blocks here so with all that said let me know what you think uh, remember be positive be you in this man this is a great week in the stock market this is probably the best week we've had in like I don't know the past three months with a lot of things but friends I will talk to you very soon bye bye Ooh.